A very good morning to Dr. Wok Hon Seng and my fellow classmates. This is Group 1, uh, consists of seven members. And we'll, today we'll present about our group assignment. A very good morning to Dr. Wok Hon Seng and my fellow classmates. This is Group 1, uh, consists of seven members. And we'll, today we'll present about our group assignment. Uh, next, this is the content of the group assignment, and this is also. And firstly, we will talk about the financial crisis in advance. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Angelina Shimyume. Uh, we will start off with question 14, that is for financial crisis in advance economy. What technology innovation led to the development of the supreme mortgage market? What is supreme mortgage? Typically, it given out to borrowers with bad credits. Second, the lender believes the borrower has a higher than average chance of defaulting on the loan. A prime conventional mortgage is not given. Next, our group will be discussed about the technology innovation that led to the development of the supreme mortgage markets, which are mortgage backed security MBS and collateralized debt obligation. These are some of the innovation products that are associated with supreme mortgages. Hello, I'm Helena and I will be presenting this part. There are two types of technological innovation which are mortgage backed securities and collateralized debt obligations. A mortgage backed securities is a security supported by an asset to facilitate the mortgage financing process. This allows loan buyers to consolidate loans and sell them to the public. And it is also allowing banks to borrow a lot of funds from the other institutions. And the next is collateralized debt obligations which means an investment backed up by loans bonds and other assets cdo is causing many people to suffer losses due to risky investment meanwhile cdo allows lower level investor withdraw their shares at 60 percent every month that's all thank you my name is noranisha binti alex i will present about the question number 15 why is the origin act to distribute business for the subject to the principal agent problem? The origin act to distribute is a business strategy that is done by the way an investor buys a basic asset that refers to a mortgage. This basic asset is usually obtained from a separate party, for example, from a mortgage broker. Then the asset or mortgage owned by the investor are resold to another individual or institu institution in exchange for a fee. Principal agent problem occur when the investor who is the originator of the loan to the mortgage cannot be sure that the mortgage acquirer has good credit risk or not. Question number nine. How did a decline in housing prices help trigger the subprime financial crisis that began in 2007? Before the 2007 financial crisis, the bank declarations allow credit to borrowers with low credit score who were generally considered to have poor credit. The bank used the house as a mortgage in case the borrower was unable to repair the loan. For example, the cost of buying a house with a bank loan was 80 million, but due to the decline of the property market, the cost of buying a house declined to 60 million. When the loan buyer uh, defaults, the bank well not be able to recall, recover the full amount of the loan due to the value of the house price itself have declined. This struggles the bank losses and subprime crisis. The decline in the value of house has led many subprime borrowers to find their mortgage underwater and it will cause financial institutions to suffer huge losses, leading to the collapse of loans. The first short-term response and recovery is financial bailout. It will establish to provide financial assistance and support to rescue financial institutions and large firms affected by the severe financial crisis. The several large banks in the world were received from the financial crisis by some financial institutions. INF is one of the monetary institutions that provide loan to one's country. It can help the country to obtain financial loan when facing a global financial crisis in the future. 
A second way is weaker stimulus spending. It was a policy to reduce tax and increase the government spending. It can carry out the national economic activity and reduce the unemployment rate in the country. Output and GDP growth and also income are increased due to a sufficient of level. Therefore, country can do the preparations to cover the difficulties during the financial crisis facing the world. In the long term report, we had who has been strengthened financial support and strengthened international cooperation. In strengthened international support, we had three points to explain. Effective financial regulation is the key to prevailing financial risks. Financial regulatory authorities follow the important responsibility of maintaining the order and stability of the financial market. Our country should strengthen the establishment of information discovery system. In June, international cooperation, we have two points to explain. Other international economy and trade coordination organizations, including the World Trade Organization, should play a role. A task important to regional and international financial policy, coordination and cooperation related information exchange, regulatory resource sharing, mutual assistance and mutual assertion, and joint proven financial credit of proven the spread of financial credits. Uh, last, we will talk about financial crisis in emerging economies. How can emerging market economies avoid problem of currency mismatch? What is an emerging market economy? Emerging market economies is an economy of a developing country that is expanding and becoming increasingly integrated with international market. There are three stages of events in financial crisis in emerging market economies. Stage 1 is Initiation of financial crisis Stage 2 Currency crisis and Stage 3 is Full-fledged financial crisis Currency mismatch occur when amazing markets economies lose a lot of domestic debt. A modern initiative that can be used to launch is to implement regulation or tax. The government can reform the taxation system in the country, for example, good and service tax and seller service tax. The, the revenue earned can be used to pay the domestic debt. The imposition of this taxation policy cannot be overcome the debt problem in one's country as a whole, but it can help to reduce the, the burdens of a country. Regulation of banks can avoid the problem of currency mismatch. Banking regulation is a form of regulation such as requirement, restriction, and guidelines. In another meaning of that, banking regulation is a law that controls banking system as a whole. Federal Reserve collects all information and reports to carry out strict supervision in order to help banks avoid currency mismatches in the market. After that, the Federal Reserve encouraged bonds to reduce loans and bank deposits by providing local currency financing opportunities. Last but not least, the Federal Reserve disciplines financial institutions from taking excessive risks. For example, Federal Reserve can set standards for capital requirement to encourage banks to develop a bank's image. That's all from me. Thank you. Moving on to a flexible exchange rate regime. Greater exchange rate flexibility would reduce currency mismatches. Earning economy should continue to promote the reform of the exchange rate system. Improve the flexibility of the exchange rate system. Improve the exchange rate formation machining determined by market supply and demand. And help interpret avoid the risk of currency matching caused by exchange rate fluctuations. 
Hello, my name is Lilian Li. Now I will continue to present how can emerging market economy avoid the problem of currency mismatch through the monetary policy. Monetary policy is used to manage a nation's money supply and promote economic growth. It also includes modifying a bank research requirement, rising fund, and adjusting interest rate. In the monetary policy, reducing the quantity of local currency transferred to to other nations can avoid the currency mismatch problem. This is because it will prevent the local currency from depreciating as a result of higher inflation. Next, a change control, which means reducing the buying or selling of currency. These reductions can help nations better. Uh, stabilize their economies by preventing the inflow and outflow of currency. After that, the government also can limit currency much much by restricting uh, foreign currency long of bank. For example, to lower the quantity of foreign currency borrowed, government can charge a higher interest rate for a bank. This, in this way, the currency much much will be avoided through the monetary policy. Next, I will talk about why my emerging markets economy want to implement financial liberalization and globalization gradually rather than all at once. Uh, first, introduction of financial liberalization and globalization. What is financial liberalization? It refers to action taken to lessen or eliminate regulatory controls on the institutional frameworks, tools, and operation of agents in various financial sectors segments. In developing countries, financial sectors, liber sector liberalization has typically been linked to policies intended to increase central banks' independence. What is financial globalization? It is the process throughout which the financial markets of different nations across the world are combined into what described as the unrestricted flow of capital across national boundaries. Now I will talk about the point number one for liberalization and globalization. Uh, first is enforcing financial liberalization and globalization needs plenty of adjustments in the emerging demands. This is because financial globalization and liberalization needs intensive change to current demand. According to the concept, several domestic companies are badly impacted by globalization and liberalization. As a result, this country required enough time to realign the industry and absorb the shocks brought on this measure. Secondly, financial liberalization is induced instability in the economic market of the emerging market. In emerging markets get reduction interest rate to run its project, so Bank 10 carry out high risk plan to compete in financial sector. Its increased bidding for bank deposit lead to put high interest rate to borrower. So bank encourage borrower stability to borrow money even they have high risk borrowing. Because the borrower cannot to repay money due to high interest and cause a lot of unpaid bank account debt and cause crisis in emerging market also. Last point, emerging market required to create organization, regulatory bodies and market spectator. This is because emerging market is new in development stage to expand their economic system. So they need to create an organization to carry out a crucial economic function. Then regulatory bodies also need to control all economic activities, such as financial regulation. Market spectator also essential to analyze the economy and make best decision for economic. All of these are required in emerging market to implement financial rehabilitation and globalization stage by stage to the economic institution. It's all for me, thank you.